Hey everybody, welcome back to Angling and Arrows. Uh, today this was a last minute trip. I decided to hook up the boat and see if I could catch a couple of trout today. I'm in the Deer Park area on the Avalon Peninsula and this is my first time fishing in this pond. I just picked one on the map that I could access with the boat and the little Maverick and we're gonna see how it goes today. So stay tuned. And if you like this content, make sure that you remember to subscribe and smash the notification buttons. It really does a lot to help out the channel for myself and Devlin, who unfortunately is in school today and couldn't make it. So subscribe to our channel, hit the notification buttons and follow along on our adventures. Thanks everybody. So we're going to uh, just try driving around the pond, see what the water depth is like, do a little bit of trolling, see if we can see any fish uh, breaching, chasing flies maybe. It's about seven degrees here now, and the wind is not much wind, but it's uh, northeasterly, which is actually not good for trouting. The westerly wind is obviously much better, it seems to be around here at least. But we get the little fish finder here to show us the depth. My little uh, Eagle Cuda 168, so we'll see how this goes. I find the fish finder is not real accurate with the fish, but it certainly gives you a good indication of the water depth. You can keep yourself out of trouble that way. First trout of the day on. Feels like a decent one. I was not expecting this. This is one of the biggest mud trout I've ever caught. Holy crap. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Just caught a uh, mud trout. I'd say it's a pound and a half or two pounds. Well, this just made the day worth, this just made the day worth it. What a beautiful, beautiful speckled trout. Unbelievable. It is absolutely awesome. We got a bike going on here. Oh, we got him. No, lost him. We have one nibbling at the hook there, but I think I struck him. We got another one nibbling at the line here. They're probably too far away to see, but there's a couple of loons there behind me feeding. Always good to see, that means there's a few fish. I guess it's a catch-22 because they eat a lot of fish as well. Birds you gotta survive too. Trawl around with our lucky strike. Might be grass on here this time, I'm not sure. Oh, we got a fish on here for sure. Feels like a decent fish. Gonna get the net ready here. Yeah, I got a nice little fish on here. Nice little fish. Got a 
another lovely little brook trout here. Got a bit of water on the lens of the GoPro. It's another one that'll make for a nice, nice little fish for supper. So I forgot to turn on my camera while I was setting up my stove and stuff. I'm not going to do it again, but anyway, I uh, I just got some water there. I got my little coma stove going. I'm going to have a cup of coffee now. I've got my fly rod out behind the boat. My fly is just floating around. You're only allowed to use one line at a time here while you're fishing in Newfoundland during the summer months. So I just let my fly float because, you know, hooking the water is a hook that's fishing. The big trout that I caught a few minutes ago, I caught on a uh, Lucky Strike spinner and worm. This is pretty much the uh, this is pretty much the go-to hook here for <clears throat> mud trout or speckled trout fishing in Newfoundland. I also started using tail baits last year, and I like those as well. I'm going to try one out after I have a little lunch here in a little bit. But most importantly, I'm going to get a coffee. That's my shallow water alarm on my fish finder sound in there. A little chilly here today. It's actually about five, well, it was five degrees when I left the truck, but uh, I don't know, it's probably around seven degrees now, but there's certainly a chill in the air. So the uh, cup of coffee is a nice way to warm yourself up. Especially when you burn your finger by stirring with it. I was just trolling my muddler here. I got a little one on, I think. I don't know. I don't know how big he is. I had a lot of line out there. I was trolling. And uh, I looked back there. I saw the rod bent over. He's swimming towards me. Oh, he's, a, he's a keeper little trout. So we got a we got a nice little brook trout here. It's 10 or 12 inches. It's a nice size for eating. I do enjoy a good feed of trout, so sometimes I release them, but I haven't had a feed of trout yet this year. So I was just trolling along really slow there, using a big old furry muddler. And uh, that's what I was using there. He took that pretty good. With these big trout, they can be aggressive, so you haven't got to be afraid of using a fly that's too big. If they can see it a lot of times, they'll think it's a minnow or whatever the case. And right after that, I'll get a snarl. There you go. I seem to have a snarl in my line here. All pair of fishing happens to the best of us. I'm using a six weight rod, and that's a pretty big hook. We got a fish on. I don't think it's very big though, but hey. We got a little one on here. Nice 
little fruit here. Gonna let this guy go. I have no idea if I just got that on camera or not. Uh, the GoPro, I've been having a little bit of trouble operating it today. <clears throat> but that's just me. I think I'm going to head that on a still picture. But hopefully we got it. It was a nice little trailer I let go of there. Probably seven or eight inches. A lot of pounds. I'd probably keep a couple of those for a feed, but I've already got what I wanted today. So we're going to continue trolling around and see how it goes. So I've got on an orange Rapala now. And uh, it's the first time I tried a Rapala today, or Rapala, however you want to say it. It's a pretty big hook, so we'll see what we got on here. Feels like a decent, feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah, real nice fish. Oh! I figured with the three hooks with the Rapala, I figured with the three hooks on the Rapala or six hooks, I figured I'd uh, get them in without using the net. Lesson learned. First one I lost today, but I actually had hook good. I'll throw it out and try it again. Well, there you have it, folks. That was uh, an afternoon, middle of the day trouting, actually. I didn't think it was going to be a great day. The winds were from the northeast, which is not really all that great for, for trouting. But uh, we did okay. We caught uh, five. I let a couple go. We had a few more bites. I caught this monster here. I weighed him. He was uh, 2.1 pounds. It's actually one of the bigger brook trout that I've ever caught. Maybe a couple up in Labrador and Northern Peninsula were a little bit bigger. But that's a very respectable trout there. And as well, the other couple that I have there, I kept three for uh, summer. So they're going to be very much enjoyed. Uh, thanks for tuning in and watching the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks everybody and please again make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for our 1000 subscriber giveaway.